People go into a dating thinking wedding bells and invitations already. They're like, wow, this is the one. I mean, you only knew them for four months. You don't know if they cut their toenails and put them in their pillowcase and sleep over and that's good luck at night. You don't know. You don't know what's going on. In today's time, there's a whole lot of background checks that got to be in place. There's a whole lot of checking the personality and the character of the person. Now, before you jump off into a relationship, the Bible tells us to be wise as serpents, yet harmless as a dove. That's proof text number one to why we should date before we jump into the concept of marriage. Because, see, we've been taught, I was taught growing up, that if, you, if your passions, your emotions, because the Bible says it in 1 Corinthians 7 chapter, that if you cannot contain yourself, and it's speaking sexually, then marry. And then they use the scripture which, which Paul talks about. It's better to marry than to burn. So a lot of my teachers growing up would say, yeah, you know, for that lust and you better marry high before you burn and go to hell. And, 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 and that sent a lot of people into relationships unprepared. So one element, one element that somehow seems to die down once you marry, but one element. One layer is solved, but then there's 40,000 other layers. So when you're dating, let me give you some free stuff. Can I just give you some free stuff? When you're dating, you do not want to simply base what you're about to do on that quiver in the liver. Anybody know what the quiver in the liver is? Uh, you, make, you make me feel. Right, right. Okay, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> give me some tea, somebody. Ah. And so we don't want to base such a wonderful commitment of such a temporary feeling. Let me share with you all that feeling. If you get married based on that feeling, I'm going to tell you, there's an expiration date of 36 months to that feeling. It is intended to numb you out from reality because what, what is happening is uh, um, your body is saying, look over and overlook their faults because they really messed up, but you love them too much to let them know. And don't have the I need somebody's itis. You know, they could be a serial killer. I don't care. I love them. Love me some killer Roy. <laughs> Roy? Roy. And um, so how do you base a good dating relationship? Here's the deal. That person must line up with your core values. Every one of us, every company, every corporation has core values. It's what they hold to. It means there's non-negotiables. You ought to have some core values in your life that you say, you know what? These are the things I enjoy. These are the things I will pursue. This is my dream. I believe in dreaming. I believe in, 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 in taking risk in life. These are core values that if someone violates them, here's how you know it's a core value. You will cut their fingers off. <laughs> 